Hello, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 23. It is 6.30ish in the morning. I actually already ran to Starbucks um, and got some coffee and then ran to the bank and got some cash just so I have it for the coming days. And yeah, I actually have laundry that has been in the dryer since 1976 that needs to be pulled out and folded. And I don't know about you, I never have a problem with leaving things in the washer. It's leaving things in the dryer for days upon days. Like I'm gonna have to run the dryer for like 20 minutes to like fluff it all back up just to fold it. So let me do that real quick. I am feeling better. I slept well last night. Got a solid like eight, eight and a half hours. Um, the problem right now is I have like pulled a rib or bruised a rib or something. So blowing my nose or coughing, luckily my cough is subsiding a bit. It hurts so bad that I've been holding a pillow and like squeezing it when I cough. But yeah, it's on the right side and it is sore. Let's do advent calendars early today. More or less because I wanna see what's in the Liberty one today. Day 23. Oh, it's an eaten cookie and a glass of milk. Day 23. That's such a cute ornament. All I want for Chris all I want for Christmas is books. Pour some sugar on me. In the name of love, pour some sugar on me. Oh, these are a favorite. I feel like I say that every time. These are the ice cream cones. They're so yummy. And, oh, 23 is right here. BB. Ghost of Tom Perfume. I love a fragrance, friends. Let's see what this is. I don't know how to describe it. I'm terrible at naming fragrances. I don't know. Let's see if we can Google it. But I really do like it. I love a fragrance. I just, I don't know. There's something about like having a unique fragrance that people like comment on or something. I just love it. Well, first of all, I'm looking up that fragrance. It is $300 for 100 milliliters. It is bergamot. I, I could smell the bergamot. Black currant, black tea extract, violet leaves, birch tree, black amber, and Indian papyrus. I really like it. I like it much more once it dries down, but it's such a good fragrance. $300. That calendar is so good. What the size of this is, because like it is, like with thinking about a fragrance, it's a fair amount. It's a 10 millimeter bottle. So, do the math. Just in my skincare and then put some of the Lumi Glotion on. I really love it. Just makes your skin look really fresh and it also has some moisture to it. Um, I love the product. But uh, I'm gonna get moving so I can get to Trader Joe's just as they open and get my few errands done that I need to get done. It also reminds me, I have to swing by the post office. I ordered a pair of Veja shoes from Nordstrom and they don't fit. They're a little too big and they don't, I, well, let's, they were on sale, I attempted to size up because that's what they had available. They didn't have my regular size and they're way too big. They are like, no matter how tie, tight I tied them, they were still sliding, which is A, gonna cause a blister, B, is just super uncomfortable. So I'll have to return that. So we better get moving. So friends, we are back. Part of my hair, I was wearing a hat. We are going to do some baking today and just get a couple things made just so we have them. It just makes the house smell good and festive. It's a um, little after nine. It was super fast. But the first thing we're gonna make is five minute fudge. 
It is so easy. All I have going is a saucepan. I'm gonna get this on like a pretty low heat. I'm using a 15 ounce, is it 15 ounce? 14 ounce sweetened condensed milk. I'm going to add, I'm doing milk chocolate. You could totally do semi-sweet because of the condensed milk. And then the butterscotch. And then I'm gonna take a nine by nine pan. It's about three quarters of it. I am going to get a nine by nine pan buttered. And chocolate melts on very low heat, so do not think you need a high heat. If anything, it'll just burn too quickly. Now, I am going to add a little bit of vanilla to this. I'm gonna keep stirring this until it gets silky smooth and all melted down. I'm gonna add some walnuts. We're gonna throw it in a butter nine by nine and throw it in the freezer. We are almost there and it has been about three minutes and 51 seconds. I just looked at the timer on my camera. Now, when you go to add your nuts to this, I like to take it off the heat. But this is almost combined. I'll show you kind of where the texture is at right now. So it's almost there. You can see how like thick and like fudgy it has gotten. A, like a few more, 30 more seconds, this will be all smooth and combined. You could always switch the butterscotch out and just keep it all chocolate. You could add peanut butter. You could really do whatever you want. Now remember, even if there's a few chunks left, they'll continue to melt, but this looks pretty perfect. So I'm gonna remove this from the heat. I'm gonna add wal a little bit of walnuts now, and then I'll pat some in on top as well. Our first Christmas bake is done. I'm gonna throw some saran wrap on that and throw it in the fridge. Also, nothing sticks to these caraway pans. They're so good. I do have a discount code down below for you. So, use it if you decide, but I've given away all my all-clad dishes. All I kept was my La Crusade and my set of caraways. I just whipped up a peanut butter cookie dough. I'll leave the recipe link below, it's super simple. The only difference is I add chunky peanut butter instead of creamy. I like the texture of the peanuts in it a little bit better. I also have the old Unlikely Angel um, movie playing, which I just love. And I'm going to do like the Hershey Kiss Blossom Cookies. But I'm gonna chill this for like 30 minutes and then roll it out. Not roll it out, just roll it in balls. Bake it, put those in at the end. Yeah, we're in a good spot. All right, friends, the last thing I'm making is just some snickerdoodle cookies. I did cinnamon and sugar in this bowl. I'm just going to roll my dough Give these a little roll in the cinnamon and sugar, and then put arrange them on my sill pat. I used to never bake with a sill pat. I thought they were like just overrated. It didn't make a difference. Your cookies will bake so much more evenly. You don't have to add anything to them. They don't stick. It keeps your cookie sheets nice, but these are the cookies I'm gonna bake. Like I said, don't wanna overdo it. So we did fudge, um, the, oh, I did do, uh, I split a uh, chocolate chip batter and did um, some plain like sugar cookie, like brown sugar cookies and then some chocolate chip. I just made like a dozen of those. And then I have the peanut butter blossoms in the oven right now. And then I'll bake these off. And that's the, my Christmas baking for the year. Like I said, I'm 
not going to see my family this I don't know if I mentioned this I'm not going to see my family this year my sister is with her in-laws for Christmas this year my mom and dad are headed down my sister's way in January for New Year's so it'll just be a family Christmas here this year I have my family at Thanksgiving as long as I get one of those holidays with them I feel very blessed and lucky I really overdid my cinnamon and sugar mixture. I should be able to get one more cookie out of this. Let me get a scraper. Let me get one more. Well, friends, I mismeasured these and they are a little bit bigger than I would have originally wanted. But you know what? Who has complained about a cookie being too big? I should have gotten out my measuring spoon instead of just doing them by eye. But here we are. I'm just adding the chocolate chip to them while they're still really hot. That way it kind of melts on the bottom. Whoop. There we go. Those are done. And the snickerdoodles are in the oven. I have the fudge out of the fridge and I'm just going to cut it up into tiny squares and get it in a container. But you can see that it is like absolutely firm enough to cut up. Okay, let's get some of this in here now. I am loving these containers that I got at Wegmans. They were all nested together for $6.99. You cannot beat that. The combination of my Christmas baking. So I have the snickerdoodles and the peanut butter blossoms in here, some brown sugar cookies and chocolate chip cookies there, and then the fudge across these containers. So not too shabby for what was actually a very quick baking session, but it wouldn't be the holidays without baking. Mabel, what movies did we watch today? Do you uh, remember? She was watching Astro. Oh, we have to tell them about that. Yes. But wait, I'm trying to think of the movies watched today. Well, I was in and out, so. So, Unlikely Angel. Oh, she's no longer interested. Unlikely Angel, and then I watched the Christmas special that Dolly did last year. Then, Family Stone, The Griswolds, Family Vacation, and now I'm watching, uh, I don't know how she does it. Would you get them? Would you get them? Would you get them? She's wound up. Get them. Get them. Get them. Mm. Mm. Get him! Get him! A lot of you spotted Astro, the robot. He is... Bubba's nemesis. Yeah, but doesn't love Bubba's. But explain what it is. It's Amazon Alexa's uh, mobile uh, robot. So basically it's Alexa with a powerful speaker and a cup holder and it goes from room to And a built-in camera. Yeah, well, yeah, come here. Uh, uh, Astro. Astro, come here. Astro, right here. Astro, take a picture of me. Okay. 
So it has a periscope that goes up. So what you really use that for is home security. Okay. Like it can okay. check your oven if you've left it on. It can check your door. It could do all of those things. Um, it also is essentially just an Alexa purpose. screen on. It entertains children, yeah. visitors, I think. But so. like if I wanted to, I could put a drink in the cup holder and tell it to go find Steven and it will recognize your face and it would find Steven in a room. Astro, what's the weather in New York City? In New York, it's 43 degrees Fahrenheit with cloudy skies. Tonight, you can look for showers with a low of 40 degrees. Astro, who is Kelly Clarkson? Here's something I found on Wikipedia. Kelly Brianne Clarkson is an American singer and songwriter. She rose to fame in 2002 after winning the first season of American Idol, which earned her a record deal with RCA Records. Astro, go to kitchen. But like, it maps your house. And now it will go into the kitchen. So, so essentially, it is just an Alexa on wheels that travels around your house. Is it necessary? Absolutely not. I also believe it is currently by invitation only on Amazon. Um, so, you could check it out. I would think you just have to type in Astro. And... Yeah, you can get on like a wait list for it. I don't know currently how they're doing it. But like sometimes it is nice to have it like play the music in here because the speaker system is really good on it. But a lot of you saw it and asked about it and I just wanted you to get a little update. All right, friends, tomorrow is the 24th. We will be wrapping up advent calendars. It'll be Christmas Eve. But I hope this, um, I will end it like I end all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others, be kind, kindness is free, give to everyone until next time, which will be tomorrow. Bye-bye.